how far are we going to take this thing? Should I just save everyone a whole lot of time and energy and walk around campus with a t-shirt that says, I'm the perv? Do you have one? Do you think this is funny? It's bad enough I got dragged into the police station on account of being the prime suspect. But do you know what it's like to get labeled as a guy who drugs women and takes pictures of them naked? Your social options start to dwindle alarmingly quickly. That means the plan's working. I'm not consoled. Look, Dylan, I know this is rough for you. It's rough for all of us. But the perv is convinced you're about to be arrested for his crime, so he's ready to set you up for the final fall. And right. when he does, we're going to be there and we're going to take him down. Yeah, how? When? How does Snyder grab you? The role of Lucas Jones is now being played by Ben Hogeston. It needs to be around a lot of witnesses tonight and nowhere near campus. That way, if the first strikes, you got an alibi. But if he's trying to frame me, shouldn't I be conveniently located at the party? No, I want you clear. I'm not letting this perp call the shots any longer. Well, it seems to me like he is calling the shots. That's why I'm the cop and you're not. The profile on this perp says that he's compulsive. We set the scene, he's not going to be able to control himself. He's going to be at the party the night, and when he shows up, we're going to get him. Who's your backup? Maxie. Maxie. <laughs> I brought body mics from the station so that we can stay in contact with each other. Cool. Cool? Cool. No, this is not cool. What is wrong with you? Sticking her in the middle of this? Hey, I have a stake in catching this guy, too. If you remember correctly, he called and said that I owe him. Uh, I don't like this. I don't. Well, no offense, but you don't have to. Just do your part and keep playing it like we all think you're the guy. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. You got a minute? Yeah, actually, um, I got all the time in the world because whatever you got going on is better than convincing my so-called friends that I don't drug women. Well, you still got one friend left. Remember that girl I mentioned, Hollis? She's in the comments room downstairs asking about you again. Did, did you hear that, guys? That's my next victim right there. I'll be with you in a second. Are you sure you're okay with this? I can go another way. Don't you dare. I meant what I said. I have a stake in catching this guy. My only question is what if we go through with all this and he doesn't show up? He would keep setting up until he does. Look, it's gotta be sooner than later, though. I'm not sure I can pass enough classes to stay on a cover much longer. Well, I mean, you did get stuck with the worst tutor. Georgie got the brains and I got the other attributes. Are you trying to distract me? Is it working? We have prep to do. Oh. We have to get down to the commons to figure out how we're going to use it. All right, then we got to get back up here so I can show you how to use the mics. Hey, I'll make it up to you later. I promise. I am going to remember that you said that. All right, let's go. Hey, uh, Professor Taylor, what brings you by? The F you pulled on your latest paper. I hope you don't have any plans for tonight. I know this isn't the best paper ever written, but an F? I mean, doesn't that seem a little harsh? I'll say it is. I thought that paper was one of the best. I, I mean, from what little Jesse read to me, I thought that paper was pretty impressive. I don't have a problem with the paper, per se. It's actually quite good. I just don't believe you wrote it. Well, why would you say that? Of course I wrote this This is paper. a human sexuality course. Most young men take it thinking they're going to be watching hot videos and sex movies all day long. When they find out this isn't the case, they can't get to the door fast enough. Well, Jesse's not like most guys. I'm, I'm, I'm here to learn. According to this paper, there isn't much I can teach you. Would you like to enlighten me as to how, at your tender age, you already know so much about the female libido? Men are a lot more sensitive these days. Yeah, that's me. I'm sensitive. You have no idea. <laughs> I'm not convinced. This paper was written from a distinctly female perspective. That set up a few alarms, so I conducted some research. Since your enrollment at PCU, you've exhibited deplorable attendance and barely passing grades in every class. I found your admissions file to be unusually incomplete, including the alarming implication that you appeared in this world full-blown, since you don't seem to have any parents. I'm ready to call for a full investigation. You can't do that! Please, don't. If, if I fail out of this university, it would be disastrous. Please, don't. All right. I'll give you one chance to redeem yourself. Oh, you're going to have to pass a test in my course. Great. 
Just leave it here. I'll hand it in first thing in the morning. <laughs> this will be an oral exam. I'll give you ten minutes to send your study partner home so you can prepare. Great. I haven't even opened the book to this course yet. I'm dead. We're gonna have to pick up on this later. I think we should probably get in our positions and do a test run or something. Right? No, wait, wait, wait. I'm not entirely comfortable with you hanging we out of the fire. We are school. only on the second floor, and there's a nice, comfy bush down there in case I need to take a dive or something. Oh, I'm okay. All right, go say something. Hey, what happens if you don't know the answer to one of the questions? On human sexuality, I'm not worried. Looks like we're in business. Uh, it looks like. Tell me what a genius I am, dear. Ready, Mr. Beaudry? Come in. For anything you can throw at us. Which is higher? The percentage of older men with younger women or vice versa? I don't remember this one from class, but I'm going to go with instinct. Older men, younger women. Older men, younger women. Doesn't seem fair, does it? Was, is that my next question? No. I think she wants you. What? You seem to have trouble hearing me. Maybe there's too much street noise. I'll just shut the window. Oh, no. No, it's fine. Just keep on going. It's kind of warm in here anyway. Hmm. What qualities or traits most typify the way a woman differs from a man. You're going to have to give me a second. I got this one. You do? Uh, you do? A woman, she smiles through pain, but she's not afraid to admit when something hurts. If she is a raging tornado when she loves you and when she thinks that you've been wronged. And an ice storm when you wrong her. She's the strongest thing alive. But she's vulnerable and giving. And she loves to hear you tell her how great she is. Men, on the other hand, are not very good at expressing our hearts, which means you can never tell her enough. So you gotta find ways to show her by valuing her, making sure that she never gets into any harm, encouraging her to spread those wings and try to fly. Second, you. Where have you been all my life? I could feel it when I read your paper. It was like you were talking directly to me. But I had to be sure. Yeah? How about be your age? What's this? I heard every inappropriate thing you said to him. My boyfriend, by the way. I knew it. You cheated again. And what were you doing? Forcing his hand. I'm going to the dean. Go ahead. I'm going to be right behind you because what you did is called entrapment. If you're telling the truth and not just covering your butt. Come along, then. We'll see who the dean believes. Wait. Wait a minute. I'm an undercover cop. Look, I enrolled in all of Maxie's classes because she's one of a growing list of girls who are being targeted by a stalker. He's drugging them and he's taking shots at them nude. Don't rat on Jesse and I won't rat on you. My dad's the police commissioner, by the way. I feel really awful about this misunderstanding. I'm sure we can make amends. Giving Jesse an A on his paper would be a nice start. What if I said I could help you expose the stalker? 